I'm here. I am in the room that I will be staying in for the next five days in complete darkness the end receiving the medicine of the dark I am filled with gratitude thank you Dimitri for making this possible I am so grateful and thank you to Aubrey Marcus who had this experience in the same exact place here spirit balance and when I first heard him talk about it something in me just like lit up and I knew it was something that I wanted to experience. It was this knowing, this calling. It's like the darkness called me. And that's the only way I can really describe it. And ever since then, I put it into my vortex and I wanted to experience it. So I'm so grateful to be here. You know, it's like, it's such an amazing feeling when you have an intention for something and you want to experience it and then you are in the physical experience of it it's pretty incredible and I'm very very grateful I'm also very tired and my stomach hurts a bit from just you know not having a proper meal but um, I won't be eating for the next five days or six days I don't even know today's Wednesday I leave here on Tuesday there will be smoothies and teas and I brought some small snacks with me like crackers and stuff but I know that I need this otherwise it wouldn't be happening so I accept it fully I embrace the experience whatever it's gonna be and I know it's gonna be deep because there's nothing to distract yourself with and I am looking forward to that just really sitting with the mind you know and seeing what comes up and you know I intend to ask a lot of questions and of course I have my intentions um, for what I would like to receive but I know from experience with plant medicine that the medicine is intelligent and it knows more than you what you need um, it sees your blind spots it knows what you are ready for so I am fully trusting knowing that it will be exactly what I need maybe not what I want but that's the whole journey of continuously learning to surrender resistance and the attachments that the mind has and trusting that what is present is for the highest good and most importantly that all is well and my stomach hurts so I'm going to take a shower and have a little warm tea and head to bed and tomorrow at I don't know what time let's say 8 30. Carmen I believe will come in to have a chat and explain things I guess how everything works and I hope to be able to go outside and film a little bit and just see myself the outside because I arrived in the evening it was a long day of travel I left I think at 12 30 p.m on Wednesday I was still a Wednesday and um, right now it's I think 9 p.m. something like that I wanted to see outside because when I arrived it was dark and it looks like a beautiful little village and actually you can see France on the other side um, I can't remember the city Strasbourg I think but I will look it up after yeah so I would like to be able to go outside and just see where I'm at before I go into the dark and this room is actually a Lakshmi room which is of course perfect orchestration from the universe because I've been working with Lakshmi and mantras and activating her presence so it's very special that that's what the room is called and I will be calling on her but I will do a little tour of the room now and then tomorrow if I have a chance I will film the outside and then into the darkness I go so 
You walk in, there's a dresser and a table, some tea and a smoothie, and the bathroom, and the bed, and some place to sit, and a sink, and blacked out windows, meditation cushion, and um, yoga mat. So this is where all the magic will happen. I am ready. As ready as I'll ever be. So it's the next morning and the retreat hasn't officially started. But I just wanted to show the beautiful nature outside because it is so glorious. It's so beautiful. It's fall time, so gorgeous autumn colors and I'll just show a little bit of the inside. This is the meditation space. Yeah, this morning I had the lights off already, so I just wanted to kind of experience it and it was really nice. It's, um, you know, other senses just kind of mobilize and become more sensitive. Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this experience to see, you know, what comes from it just curious and again like i said last night filled with so much gratitude thank you dimitri thank you my love thank you for making this possible for me so grateful oh. just heaven on earth hearing the words and seeing nature i could literally sit here all my whole life and just enjoy this so nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I imagined this moment so many times. <laughs> oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh, so bright. Oh. Oh god, it's bright. Oh. Hello, light. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can see.
Oh. What a trip. <laughs> oh, I'm so grateful for my eyes. Oh, gosh, thank you. Oh, I did it. My eyes are still adjusting. At times, the hardest thing because the mind was playing tricks and of course it was a, an initiation and of course I mostly I mostly just slept that's how tired my mind and my body were in the first three days I think I just mostly slept I would get up and eat just drink the smoothie and the tea and shower and meditate and do some gentle stretching and just go back to sleep and actually I thought only two days passed and then I asked I wrote a note in the dark um, and I asked like how many days have I been here and she said it's Saturday I thought it was only I thought it was Friday I thought it was my second day in the dark but it was third so I, somehow I guess I slept through it I mean time just completely dissolves you know what is time it completely dissolves and yeah there's a lot to process coming back to like all five senses what an experience I don't know if I mean I, I think I won't know if my intention was fulfilled uh, until I, you know, fully go back and integrate back into the world and and see if there are any changes in my in my mind and the way it operates and functions, I definitely got to practice being the observer. There was maybe. A couple times three three times or something like that when you know the mind really attacked um, and started panicking oh I have to show you this beautiful sun so beautiful look at that oh thank you universe thank you thank you thank you look oh, I'm so grateful to see the sun thank you thank you right before it goes down but yeah there was the first day yeah like panic just a complete panic attack and I'm so grateful that I've I've you know I've had training and I, I've had tools to manage the mind and subsequently when it happened again I got to practice again just observing the mind you know, speaking compassionately to the parts that wanted to escape and wanted to run. I felt scared and trapped, so I really got to practice, you know, equanimity. And it, I mean, that was one of my intentions. And I started receiving just confirmation, um, the next steps, like inspiration of you know what I'm here to do and what I'm here to create and when when those inspired thoughts would come it was challenging because you know this desire wanted to get up and get moving and get grooving and and do and act and again got to practice equanimity and just watching the mind right you're not the mind you're not the thoughts, you're not the emotions, and yet it's a part of us, it's a part of me, and it's worthy of being seen and heard and loved and accepted, and I, I got to practice a lot, um, affirming to the parts of me that didn't feel loved, that I love them, 
that I accept them, that there's only love, that it's safe, that I'm loved over and over and over and over and over. <sighs> okay, that's it for now. I'm just gonna sit and have some tea. Oh, this is one of the kitties that lives here. Hello. You came to visit me. Hi. Thank you for coming. You're so sweet. So, my time here at Spirit Balance is complete. I am packed and leaving early in the morning um, to catch a taxi, take a couple trains and then a flight back to Lisbon. So I just wanted to finish off with the video and just share a couple final thoughts to conclude. Number one, I would say it's not an experience I would recommend unless you feel what I felt when I heard or when I watched Aubrey's video um, and I will link it in the description bar box I haven't made a YouTube video in so long I can't remember the lingo but I will link his original video where he talks about his darkness retreat um, experience that when I heard that video I just knew that I wanted to experience it and here I am having experienced it now so I don't think it's for everyone and I don't think everyone needs it for sure um, I was looking at my list of intentions and I realized that one of the things I didn't talk about is that he talked about in his video that that normally can happen when you spend time in the dark is they say after three four or five I don't know how many days um, in the dark what's supposed to happen is your brain uh, releases like too much melatonin and apparently it like activates the pineal gland and releases natural DMT which is the compound found in um, ayahuasca so plant medicine so it can have like this visionary state and I don't know that's what kind of got me interested to be honest originally and I was really looking forward to it and I was actually really disappointed when I would just nothing would happen <laughs> nothing of that sort happened and of course there's lessons in everything and i know that one of the you know the i don't even want to call it lesson but i can't find another word that describes it it's like teachings i don't know is to continue to one of my intentions was to, con to show me how to like release the attachments expectations attachments you know that i have that my mind has and of course with attachments you know you have so much more suffering because oftentimes it doesn't happen the way you envision and then you feel sad or disappointed or frustrated or whatever it is and i was experiencing that in the dark for sure and i think that was part of it right to just accept it as every experience as it is because it's perfect and beautiful even if our mind can't conceive and comprehend in the moment how that is but of course from a higher perspective it always is and that was one of the things that i i needed to come to terms with that didn't happen for me and i think i talked about it earlier but yeah i, I just mostly slept for most of, most of the time because i needed it so much I was so tired in my soul and my spirit I just really needed to sleep and so I'm so grateful that I got to do that and I think after my body had enough rest after three days is when the mind mostly settled and all of the recycling negative thoughts kind of calmed down and then it just became this void like this just nothing basically it was just like it was just nothing it was just darkness and no new thoughts were coming it was like it was a very interesting experience you know my mind was quiet most of the time and it was just this blackness it was really hard that part i would say was really hard when i had those moments of like now what like what do we do i can't sleep because i slept enough so i would toss and turn a lot and and then of course i talked about it earlier i believe about the you know when the mind attacked and would have these like panic attacks of like i can't take another minute of this i need to run away from here <laughs> oh the mind and the shenanigans that it creates so 
but I am very very happy and grateful that I stuck with it because yesterday and today mostly I would say I received a lot of confirmation I wouldn't say any new inspired actions but confirmation on the inspired actions to take and I would get really excited about taking those steps and 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 doing what what's lighting up right now to uh, for me to continue to create the vision that I have for my life and for what I want to be able to create in the world. So I am filled with gratitude and inspired to take on to integrate this experience and to continue on my journey so thank you so much for tuning in and i will of course include all of the information um, about where i stayed in the in the info box and of course if you have further questions i am happy to answer love you